Hi, greetings from the Pacific Northwest. Bo here. Eve of the Olympia Record Show. Contemplating not going, only because I've been uh, texting back and forth with uh, some people in the know and some people who had some records that I was very interested in in the past aren't coming this year. Uh, a lot of new sellers, so I'm not that excited. So I'm shooting a video anyhow. I probably will go. Who am I kidding? It's a record show. That's what record collectors do. Hey, so in my last video I was talking about, you know, labels and how people want to put things in certain categories, which is fine if that's what you want to do. But sometimes I think we deprive ourselves by doing that. I, was, eh, I, think, I think I was talking with Rob, I think, maybe. I can't remember who it was. But, you know, it was about, it was about forever changes. And he, and he was like, that's definitely a psychedelic record. And I'm like, but you're kind of missing the point. And then we were having a nice conversation. It wasn't, you know, like, eh, it was, you know, just back and forth talking about it. And I'm like, well, that's kind of the point of my... I, I don't feel that it is a psychedelic record. I think of it more as a pop record. And I think, so this record, this video is kind of inspired a little bit by Diana. It's something that she said in one of her last videos where she was talking about Forever Change. She had never been a big fan of it until she stopped thinking about it as a psychedelic record. Which little got me thinking about my own, the way I th think about things, a little coffee here. This, for example, is a record I absolutely hate. One of my favorite bands, but I hate this. I hate this record. The Doors of Soft Parade. It's the first album. I mean, I think uh, th they kind of mailed it in on this one. A lot of it. Um, uh, rumors that uh, a lot of the tracks Morrison was uh, beyond drunk or stoned or whatever. You know, that rumors, just what people say. Many people are saying. How's that? Uh, so, not not their best work. This is the first time, and the group is fighting a little bit too here. It's, I believe it's the first time where they, the songs are individually, you know, the track listings have, instead of written by the Doors, you know, it's got the, you know, Krieger or Morrison or Manzarek or whoever, Densmore, whoever wrote the particular song. Um, so, I stopped thinking about this as a psychedelic record, and I was playing this earlier, and you know what? I actually kind of like it now, now that I'm able to separate that. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's, let's go over some stuff. Well, you know, we, uh, stuff people want to always call something, something, you know, like people want to say, this is a pop psych record. Call that if you want. I think of this as a pop record. You don't, it's got some, it's got some fuzzy undertones. He's got a lot of good covers. This is Kenny O'Dell, beautiful people. Kentucky woman, Ma you know, Massachusetts, different drum, next plane to London that he covers. But the real standouts here are, are beautiful people and uh, flower girl. Uh, which neither one of those, I believe, are covers. This is a great pop record. You know, 60s, there's some great 60s pop. Don't, or 70s too, don't feel like you have a category. Like people would say, this is power pop. Hey, this, by the way, still smells like the, like the raspberries. It's got, this, this was a raspberry scent and this still smells like it. This has got Eric Carmen, you know. This has got uh, Go All The Way on it, of course. Well, I couldn't think of that. I don't know. I had to read the back. So there's, there's power pop if you will. Um, and if, speaking of Next Point in London, here's the big hit. Uh, the lead singer here, Deanna DeRose. Uh, it's a really nice copy, The Rose Garden. So basically what I'm trying to do here, folks, recommend some 60s pop records. You know, they don't have to be, you know, oh, I only like psych, I only like garage. It's got to have garage undertones or psych undertones. Man, there's, there's good pop music from the 60s. And there's nothing wrong with good pop music. Uh, the Rose Garden, one of the best, one of my favorite pop stars of the 60s, Tommy James and the Shondells. Uh, this is the debut, Hanky Panky on Roulette. Roulette kind of had some <laughs> shady dealings, I think. Here's a, here's another one from Roulette that is pulled up, the Hullabaloo's. Uh, I believe these guys had the longest hair. Because this, this album came out, I want to say in 65, maybe early 66. These guys, these guys had some really long hair for the time. So Roulette, you know, Roulette put out some good pop music. A lot of people want to, you know, this this one song, uh, uh, Nobody But Me, is on Nuggets. And a lot of people, this album might be more garage. Uh, some of the later stuff is more psychedelic. Nobody But Me is a great pop song. Anybody ever see The Office? When they, when they the, the cold open they do with, with Nobody But Me? great 
Go for Creed. Free design. Yeah, people make fun of me for liking this group. The free design. This is this is you know, flowery, poppy, folk. Two guys and a gal kind of thing. A lot of that going on. A lot, a lot of guy gal stuff like uh, how about friend and lover on Verve Forecast? With the reach out of the darkness. The reaching out of the darkness. Terrific pop record. Man, one of my favorites. Bond and Young, the Easy Beats. I've got Friday on my mind. Hey, it is Friday. Uh, little Stevie. This has got some, I mean, these guys, man. Bond and Young, bro. Uh, Young went on to produce his brother stuff with ACDC, so did, uh, so did Vonda, and they formed their own group later, uh, Flash in the Pan, some pretty decent uh, pop music, post-punk, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. This is, we're not labeling things today, folks, we're going to say pop music. It's a terrific pop record, not just Friday on my mind. They do a great cover of River Deep Mountain High, River Deep Mountain High, pardon me, um, Let's see what else is on here. Uh, sea Line Woman's a pretty good track. Easy Beats from you know they're they're thought of as an Australian group. That's where the group came from. But I think they're all immigrants from England except for uh, Vonda, who is from the Netherlands, Pacific Northwest. Don and the Good Times. Their first record, I would definitely call that a garage record. This is them trying to be the Association. But it's some, it's some nice, I mean, look, they got an ice cream cart. <laughs> Pop music. Hey, the Partridge family wishes they could be the cow seals. And this, of course, has the rain, park, other things. The lead singer, the oldest son, I believe, had a tragic uh, end. Met tragic Andy, I believe, uh, Hurricane Katrina. You know, and then there's uh, uh, The Circle. This is this is a psych album. It's not. It's it's a pop. This is like any. I I could have pulled their album with their two big hits on it, like Red Rubber Ball, but uh, I didn't. I chose to show this one. Um, uh, this one's great too. This is the Click. This is Sugar on Sunday. Uh, it's on White Whale. But uh, they also do. You know, anybody that's familiar with REM, they also do a great cover. Cover. I mean, they, they do uh, Superman, which REM later covered. The Click, Sugar on Sunday. Um, I got rid of most of my Archies. I didn't pull, you know, I didn't pull the 1910 Fruit Gum Company. I got, I got rid of all my Archie records. I kept the 1910 Fruit Gum Company. I kept the Ohio Express. I didn't pull those. But here's an example of what's on. Uh, well, this is on Decca, but uh, the Archies 1910 Fruit Gum Company that kind of one off or not one off, but the. You know, studio musicians is, is essentially recorded this. And this has got the big hit, uh, Tracy. And this is the Cufflinks. But all those guys are in that same genre. Terrific music. Hey, you like your, uh, your uh, pop cartoony? The banana splits. La, 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 la. Oh, it's got the right because it's kind of splitting. I believe uh, we've got... Uh, Flegel, uh, Snork, Beagle and Drooper, something like that. It's been too long since I thought about who they actually were. Flegel, Bingo, Drooper, and Snork, I don't know, whichever one is which. Hey, I flicked this, put out some stuff, you know, Kim Fowley didn't produce, I don't think he produced either one of these records, but he produced some stuff for Flick Disc, and he's kind of a strange guy, but this is Straight up pop music, man. This is the American Revolution. Highly recommended. <laughs> yeah, I had a theme, obviously, back then. How about the Boston Tea Party? The Boston Tea Party. Hey, these guys wrote a ton of hits for the Minkies. Hey, hey, we're the Monkeys. This was their big hit. This is Wonder What She's Doing Tonight. And yes, they do. I say who. The very first line that they say, I wonder what she's doing tonight. No, they say, I wonder who. Which is terrible. It would be funny. Voice and Heart, folks. Voice and Heart for, for the Monkees. This is the one I was actually going to show because it's a cooler record. Test Patterns, Voice and Heart. This one's actually a really good record. More more kind of folky, folky, poppy. Oh, no, we're going to label and stuff. Okay, these two groups had a race, and these were the winners. Happy Is from the Sunshine Company. They were the first one. They actually charted with this song, but these guys released it about the same time, The Blades of Grass. 
they came in second. They didn't get the hit. But they're both great pop records. Um, now, this is on roulette. Did Tommy James produce this, or did he just write the song? Mm. No, I think Martin Hoffman has produced this. But So he just wrote the song, uh, Tighter, Tighter, Alive and Kicking. Tommy James, once again. Influence that should have been from that. Hey, anytime you put Peppermint in the title, right? How about the Peppermint Rainbow? Will you be staying after Sunday? Great pop song. <laughs> Look at these suits. How could I have left those guys out, right? This one's a little harder edge. This is the Peppermint Trolley on Atka. The greatest Paul McCartney record not written by Paul McCartney. Emma Rhodes. Great pop music. He started off as a 16-year-old kid in this girl. Uh oh the shrink wrap's coming off this one. How about the merry-go-round uh, with uh, Liv and uh, You're a Very Lovely Woman. And there's Emmett right there smoking. He's only like 16 years old. But this is where he got his start, the merry-go-round. Nugget stuff, man. Nuggets classic. These guys, everybody who did Hey Joe, these are the ones that charted with the song. This is The Leaves, Hey Joe. Great pop record. Uh, some people want to call it Psych or Garage. I'm going to call it Pipe or Pop. There's a uh, Dr. Stone is a good track that's on here. Words. Words that never were true. Spoken to hurt nobody but the left bank. Two of their big hits are on here. Walk Away, Renee, and Pretty Ballerina. Baroque Pop. Um, this should have probably been shown with the cufflinks, but, you know, those studio musician groups, Kaznets and Cats. Uh, Quick Joey Small. You know, you want it fuzzed up garage style right there, man. Quick Joey Small by Kaznets Cats. Super Circus. It's a, great, it's a great pop record. Man, don't sleep on Nancy Sinatra. Especially stuff she did with Lee Greenwood. That's fantastic. This has got her big hit boots. You know, my dad saw her in 66 or 67. She played on his fire base in Vietnam. Well, way back when. Back before my time. Um, a lot of people want to call this frat rock. This is a swinging medallions on Smash. Double shot of my baby's love. Yeah, yeah. Uh, outside of the hit, you know, you don't really need this record. In my opinion, it's, yeah, 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 it is what it is. And finally, last but not least, the last one I showed to recommend, how about the tremolos? Um, covering Cat Stevens, here comes my, here comes my baby. But the silence is golden. I mean, these guys, some terrific pop sounds. Anyhow, so that's my take on 60s pop music, just a few. I wanted to shoot a video, because like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the show tomorrow or not. We'll find out, uh. And the immortal words of no one but me. No, 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 no. If you watch this long, why? Because now I'm just, now I'm just rambling on. But yes, and this is my lucky shirt. I got in trouble at work for this today. I don't know why. I guess it was inappropriate. I just thought I was a Lucky Charms guy. Isn't that weird? Anyhow, bye you guys.